At the beginning of the movie, there are such earthquakes in the city of Sweden, that everything is being destroyed there. And the problem for the people is that they are not able to know where the next earthquake will come, and which area they should evacuate for safety. The reason for these earthquakes, was the underground mining in the city. After all this, we see some friends, having a party near the mining area, who see a crack there, which was getting bigger as they saw it, and suddenly they all fall into that crack. And this is Frigga, who is the security in charge of the mining area of this city. With the help of her special gadget, she has come to check the reason, and intensity of the earthquakes near the mining area. After doing all this, she meets her fiancé, and today she remembers that it is her son's birthday. Taking her ex-husband, when she arrived to surprise her son, her son was missing from her house. Before Frigga finds out about her son, a very big earthquake hits there. When Frigga checks the rector scale, she finds out that this earthquake is of 3.8 frequency. There must have been some danger here, by giving her daughter the task of finding her brother, so she decides to go to the mining area. As soon as she came out of the house, a dog was running very fast out of the city, as if he knew that there was going to be a big danger here. Frigga ignores these things and reaches the mining area. Because no one knows the mountains here better than Frigga. She has been the security in charge here for a long time. There were 108 workers trapped in the mines at this time. The task of removing them was being started. But she still, to check the explosion inside the mines, she decides to go inside the mines. With her, her ex-husband was also going inside, because he was in charge of this mining. After going inside for 520 meters, Frigga, by knocking on the mountains, tries to find out the damage done to the mountains. And with the help of drone cameras, she finds out that due to the continuous blast, the upper surface of the mountains has also become very weak. To confirm this, she slightly hits the walls of the mountains. And suddenly, with a slight hitting, a lot of stones break there and they see a hollow area inside. And this could have been really dangerous. On the other hand, Frigga's daughter was looking for her brother. She finds out from her friends that he was seen towards the mining area a while ago for mining. In the mines, while investigating the hollow area, Frigga notices that the area is 1.5 kilometers long. And right above this was their city. This means that at any time, their city could have been stuck inside. The scene is cut and we see a child playing. When he was playing in the soil, suddenly the soil below him starts sticking before the child gets stuck in the soil, and his parents save him. In the mines, Frigga orders her ex-husband to vacate the city. Because she is the security in charge, and she knows that at any time this city will be stuck inside. He tells her that it is not like that, maybe these mountains are trying to pull each other and adjust. But Frigga replies that the situation here is very bad, what you are thinking is nothing like that. We don't have much time, we have to vacate this city. Now these people are talking that suddenly where they are standing, that part of the mining starts breaking. They run out of there. Here, Frigga's fiancé finds out through the rescue team, due to the earthquake this time, the water pipes in the city have burst. The insects are coming out of the ground to the city quickly, and the animals are leaving the city, as if there is going to be a big danger here. Not only that, 108 workers have also been trapped in the mines, Frigga had started to bring them out a while ago. When he comes out of here, he notices that Frigga's daughter was running after someone. He also comes out and follows and catches both of them. He asks Frigga's daughter about all this. So Frigga's daughter tells him that he is my brother's friend and he must know about him. And the boy now tells both of them that we stole Frigga's car and went to the mining area to party. I had fainted due to being very drunk, and now I don't know where Frigga's son is. Frigga is shown in the following scene, who is sitting in a safety truck in the mines. She is very worried and scared, because she knows that the hollow area in the middle of the mountains, can fall on them at any time. And as soon as this mountain collapses, their whole city will be destroyed. Frigga was more concerned about the city than her life. The rocks were still falling in this mining area, but she decides to go out of here without thinking about her life, so that she can evacuate the city. But soon they find out that the way out of the city is closed. But they don't give up and start looking for another way. After a long walk, they found the other way closed. Frigga finds a small hole in the middle of the rocks. She decides to go out of here, by thinking this hole is a way. Removing the small stones, she finally came out. And now it was the turn of her ex-husband, who faced difficulty getting out of such a small, narrow area. Frigga, unwillingly has to hit his head with a hammer, and make him unconscious. 
After that, she pulls him out of there. After that, a lot of Frigga's colleagues had come out. And now it was the turn of Frigga's last colleague, who when tries to get out of that small hole, her foot gets stuck in the small rocks. Frigga tries a lot to pull her, but the rocks move again and small rocks fall on that girl. And so that girl dies there. After the scene is cut, Frigga's fiancé and her daughter are shown, who had come to the mining area to find her son, where the children were partying at the start of the movie. A big crack was also seen here, from which they hear the sound of someone's phone ringing. These people look inside. There was a phone ringing and a child was also there. When Frigga's daughter calls her brother, his phone does not ring in the crack. Which means that her brother is not in the crack. Here, despite coming out of the mine, Frigga, was also in a deep shock, because she had just lost her very dear friend, her colleague. Finally, these people come out of the mine, and Frigga gets a call from her daughter, in which she says that she is on top of the mines, where her son had come to party. It is possible that he is somewhere here. After listening to her, Frigga tells her, don't go toward the city, because the city can get stuck at any time. If possible, go away from that city. In the city, a warning alarm was sounded on Frigga's order. As soon as the alarm goes off, chaos begins in the city. Everyone came out on the streets, and no one knew what was going to happen next. As soon as they see, there is a big crack in the road here. Frigga's car also gets stuck in it, while people are standing here shocked. Frigga and her ex-husband were shouting at people, to run away from this city to save their lives, but no one was listening to them. In a few seconds, the crack in the road increases even more. In this, Frigga's daughter was also there. Frigga's fiancé saves her daughter from the inside. And standing far away, Frigga sees that the mountains of the mines have begun to collapse inward, all this happens in a few seconds, and the whole city starts to collapse into the ground. The dust of the mountains in the whole city spreads like smoke, and as soon as they see it, many people in the city are killed in this destruction. Because of which Frigga and all the people left here were in shock. The injured people are taken to the hospital. Frigga was also in the hospital at this time. Where she was told by her son's friend that her son went to the school near the mines for the last party. Search for him, you may find him. Without thinking, Frigga takes her whole family to the school, where it was completely destroyed. They were also afraid that her son might die here, but they check it once. After a while, they hear the voice of her son with an injured girl. Frigga's son was now in front of her, had fallen in a basement in the lower room. Because the roof had fallen from above, Frigga first gives them a rope to save the injured girl. Frigga's family also comes here, and Frigga forbids them to come any further because she knows that the conditions here have become very weak, and there is also a very big crack below it, just like the crack she has seen in the mountains. Before Frigga could save the injured girl here, the girl dies in front of Frigga's eyes. And now Frigga comes into that crack by a pipe to save her son. Before she can save her son, she moves here and a pole gets into her leg. Frigga, soaked in blood, was still thinking about her son. She tells her son that if you don't like my fiancé, I won't marry him for you, and I will stay with your dad on your request. When her son says no, I just want you to be happy with us, Frigga replies that I also just want this. During their conversation, a table hanging from the rope above is dropped towards them. Frigga's son hangs from that table, and comes out of Frigga to help her, where the pole was still stuck in Frigga's leg. On the other hand, her daughter, also comes to that sinkhole to save her life. They both take out the pole from their mother's leg, and make her sit there. First, Frigga's son goes up, and before they can save Frigga and take her up, the part where Frigga is sitting also starts breaking. Frigga could have died, but these people don't give up. Her daughter swings the table and brings it to her, and Frigga also jumps on the table. The weight on the table had increased a lot. The cable from which they hung the table, Frigga's husband grabs the cable to save Frigga. There was a current in this cable that hit Frigga's husband, and because of the current, he dies there. On the way, he told Frigga's fiancé, to take care of my children for the rest of their lives. After that, we are shown that the rescue team has also arrived here, who rescue all these people from here. But these people will never be able to forget this incident, and this film story ends here showing everyone. Thanks.